in this video I'm going to be talking about how to switch career from geology to data science well geology is a branch of science which is concerned with the uh, earth or water atmosphere soil so those who study geology they study about different aspects of earth soil uh, atmosphere environment etc so it's an intersection of science and engineering there is a lot of uses of geology in civil engineering and mining engineering and there are many related disciplines for example you have art science you have geography geophysics geochemistry petrology seismology to name a few there are many more uh, fields which are related to geology geologists deal with a um, huge amount of data in fact they have been using big data for decades now um, you have spatial data, geographic data, mining data, all kinds of data in geology and these are big data sets. Um, so the branch of geology that deals with analyzing data is called uh, geostatistics. So people who study uh, masters or PhD in geology, they learn something called geostatistics which is about using statistics to solve problems in geology or earth science or related fields use a number of techniques number of famous techniques the most famous one is the interpolation or also known as craiging right interpolation is about using a few data points to generate more data points right uh, people in geology use that a lot they also use a lot of visualization uh, techniques to analyze data about um, about uh, whether it's mines whether it's environmental science about uh, a lot of exploration so exploration is at the heart of geology and data exploration is certainly one of the important part of the exploration now coming to data science well data science is a relatively new field it's a combination of two things one is data the other one is the computation there's a huge amount of data involved and then you use computational techniques to analyze this huge amount of data people working in data science use a lot of IT tools to uh, collect data, to gather data, store data, and to analyze data. More of recently, we call these tools uh, big data tools because the size of the data has become so big that now big is being used uh, before data almost all times. And data scientists basically use the big data to solve problems. Well, that's exactly what geologists also do many a times. So hence, they are very suitable for a career in uh, data science given the strong background they have in the data oriented research work the, some of the organizations which hire geologists uh, in data science area are oil companies it goes without saying that oil companies need a lot of geologists not just for geological work but also for uh, data science work because you have background in geology in petrology or hydrology you can better understand the problems in the oil companies right and then consulting companies such as Accenture or Scumbuzzer these companies also hire geologists for data science role for consulting purposes um, then tech companies such as Uber or Tesla and Google they also hire data scientists with uh, specialization in geology why because these company use a lot of uh, spatial data for a lot of their work for example google map uh, uber is also using map right it, uber has its own map or something like that so that requires some sort of skills with geographical data and then government and think tanks and research companies also hire data scientists but it's also important to know that you do not have to limit yourself to these kind of companies you can find jobs in other areas where you do not have to use your, your geology knowledge rather is more of a, a generic data science role people from all kinds of science and technology are exploring this more generic data science roles and you certainly can explore as well however you'll be more valued if you can get into oil companies for example or consulting companies doing consulting work for oil or mining organizations because that's where you will your skills will be valued a lot then learning path well people coming from geology background do not necessarily have good maths background although they do study some mathematics statistics 
So it's always good to learn the basics of mathematics such as linear algebra or calculus. And then practice at least one programming language. Be good with at least one programming language, preferably Python or C++ or MATLAB or Julia. Then learn statistics. I'm sure you are learning geostatistics, but learn also more generic statistics and machine learning. That's also quite important. And most importantly, do projects and internship. Uh, do projects at home uh, and also do projects at different companies or organizations where you'll get a real world uh, problem to solve. That always helps to get your first job. And after that, you know, it's much easier to switch from one job to the other. But getting your first job is very important and also a uh, bit tough. Then question is about whether you should go for certification or further education in data science. Well, if you have time and if you have money, you can always go for uh, higher education in data science, doing a master's or doing some sort of uh, a professional degree in uh, data science. That's good, but not many can afford it because of cost, because of time and the fact that you already have good background in uh, some areas of data science you have good scientific background you know programming you know geostatistics then why go for uh, another master's degree um, you might as well do some certification on part-time basis to learn data science for example you can do data science certification coursera right coursera is a very good platform to learn data science so you can find the link in the description data camp is also a very good starting point especially for beginners is a wonderful uh, source you can also find the, in the description of this video and there are also plenty of videos and articles on youtube and medium and other such places but these are less organized actually it's not very organized so you'll get some information good information unfortunately it's not very organized so good to go for certifications from reputed uh, platforms such as coursera or data camp then I found this particular course from Stanford University, which is data science for geologists. So this is a data science course specifically created for people from geological science, geoscience, be it earth science, environmental science, geology, geophysics, geochemist, uh, all these areas. So you can also check this out. It's, it's from Stanford University. so. Uh, I haven't given the link here, but if you do a Google search, I'm sure you can you can easily get to this web page. Then finally, I'll talk about few important things you should keep in mind. Uh, what's very important in data science is having good skills in programming and uh, understanding of machine learning and statistics, but more importantly, having some experience in solving real world problems. And that's where intensive helps a lot. So it's not just about having degrees, it's about having skills uh, for the real world. So that's very important. Uh, getting a first job is very important. So it's very, very important therefore to do intensive and get your first job as soon as possible. And then in order to find your first job, uh, try to network with people on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a wonderful source to network. So networking is very important and if you can network with people from your own background from geology who are working in data science they can actually guide you so you can learn from them you can actually emulate their career path also that's uh, easier to do right so and very important that see if you can combine some sort of in way geology and data science that way you can actually maximize your career potential you can also earn more money you will also be valued more where you can you know combine geology or your knowledge of geology geoscience and your skills in data science improve your soft skills people coming from scientific research background often ignore the soft skills the communication skill networking skills or other aspects of soft skills which are extremely important in the real world given that you will be working in a team working with many kinds of people from various backgrounds uh, sometimes very technical people, sometimes not so technical people. So important to know skills uh, working in such diverse set of people. It goes without saying, but having good soft skills 
uh, is very very important in a career uh, in data science or for that matter any other field so these are some of the important things to note if you have further questions please ask me in the comment section